Dear Mr. Bremer, thank you very much for taking the time for this interview. As you know, it is in the context of the future Power Grid Managers program and one of the motivations behind the program is that we think your industry is becoming more and more a fast moving one. So my first question is, do you agree? To what extent in your experience is your industry moving faster and faster? I think it's moving extremely fast. It's um, very difficult even to uh, hold the pace. And I think in the next 10 years and also in the past two or three years already, we're moving faster and changing more than in the last hundreds and more years. So it's uh, with, with all the um, aspects uh, which are changing, it's not only technical, it's also on the, on the management side. We just have a, uh, a merger of the, the gas networks, the electricity networks, the district heating works and the telecommunication networks in Vienna all, all coming together. So that's a huge management task, uh, as you can imagine. And of course, on the economic side, too, uh, things are, are changing very fast. We are uh, at present, for instance, in the final discussion of the next regulatory uh, period in mm -hmm. Austria, okay. uh, starting on the 1st of January next year, for the next five years. And I just had, we had a, a conference on the, on the results, or most of the results, it's not finalized yet, uh, uh, yesterday in Vienna, and there were 120 participants, it's all only from, from DSOs and TSOs in, in, in Austria there, and people connected. Uh, with that and, and uh, the paragraphs of this uh, main paragraphs or main changes of this regulatory period are three pages. So, so there's a lot of things changing there too. So the circumstances we live on, uh, the, our profits or our possibilities to invest are uh, now in the, in the in finalization for the next five years. Especially my company, but that, that's a different thing, not for this interview. They have, we are very dissatisfied <laughs> with, the, with the results, so there's even more pressure yeah, yeah. on the management side. So, yeah. so um, the short answer is yes, extremely fast, and that makes it challenging and interesting, especially for young people. Okay, thank you. That brings me to my second question. You already mentioned a few uncertainties like the regulatory framework and the new price uh, uh, period coming up. But what are other uncertainties you see for your industry and, and the potential impact on, on your business? I think, uh, as I heard in, in, in this series of interviews, also Jan Panik gives a statement. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he gave a statement on that. So the role of the TSO especially and the role of the TSO is, is something which is under heavy discussion uh, on the Commission side. So, and um, I'm not only managing director of Wiener Netze, of the network company here, but also chairman of, of Geod, which is representation of, uh, of uh, DSOs uh, mainly or, or Stadtwerke mainly. So we are involved in, in all these smart grid here, task force working groups. There's members of Geod and several of, of my company. So there, the, so to say, the, the rules for the game are changing overall for, for the industry there and it's very important that, that the people there are, have a good operational background so that the, the theory goes in line with the uh, operational necessities and uh, we are a bit skeptic about <laughs> that, that the, the final result uh, will be a good also operational one. But I think um, that's a very good discussion, very open discussion, but the main things you, you mentioned first and that's the regulation because th this is where the in investments, the necessary investments are possible or not. And and we have a good regulatory regime regarding investments in Austria now. Uh, it's getting less good and uh, for the next five years that's for sure. How much worse it's going to be is different for, for different companies. We are the biggest user in Austria and, and it doesn't look too well 
for for us in that respect. So so that's a very 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 big challenge uh, for all of us. Okay, thank you. So context is changing, industry is moving very fast. And what about the strategy of your company? Can you share something with us? Uh, you already told us that you had this merger between electricity, gas um, and telecom um, or, or fiber. Yeah. So is there other strategic uh, decisions coming up for you? Or? Well, there is, of course, we are also uh, depending on the strategy of the energy production side and sales side. Of course, we have sister companies in, in Wiener Stadtwerke and uh, so the first strategy which has just finished the new strategy uh, discussion which was very in intensive for the energy side and, and uh, of course retail side too. We have a uh, uh, combined cycle uh, power stations uh, with the, the gas price and, and uh, uh, being, being very high and electricity very low so it's a very difficult situation. Uh, for them, which of course affects also also the, the networks and of course the renewables too. So, so the the DSO uh, strategy has to uh, look at that uh, very closely. So that's on the table, uh, and uh, we are now already uh, starting uh, two, two months ago also to uh, make up. Uh, uh, a strategy, it's called uh, N17, so that means new networks 2017. Okay. And, uh, and so it's, it's also uh, very intense, as you, as you can imagine, especially with, with all these energy networks now connected and, and, and try to get the best uh, of uh, efficiency measures, uh, not only at energy efficiency overall, but of course al also uh, company and uh, company efficiency and uh, operational efficiency. And uh, there's uh, a lot of changes there too, of course, uh, also the, the company structure and the, the company goal. Goals are, are different from the ones we had uh, even one or two years ago. And uh, again, that's the uh, very, very interesting thing, thing in the future. And uh, we are very optimistic that we can combine the, the, the efficiency law, which is in, in Austria postponed due to the elections due in, in two weeks, but the energy efficiency law following the regulation, uh, uh, the EU, EU regulation should be out uh, beginning of next year and I think this new setup of the, of the network company will, uh, will follow that uh, very well. Yeah, and do you think that uh, being such an integrated network company gives you a unique position to deal with energy efficiency? It, it should help us, it should help us to, to uh, um, it's not relief, it's maybe not the wrong word, but uh, uh, to, re re to relieve us a little bit from the pressure of regu uh, regulation, because I'm, I'm sure the regulation pressure will, will follow <laughs> every, <laughs> every successful efficiency measure there. But, but it, I think this overall look, you are all energy, major energy flows in, in a big city. We serve two million people in and around Vienna. Uh, we'll help every, everyone, we'll, we'll be to the benefit uh, uh, of uh, the people we serve and will be also to the, the benefit for, for our company and of course also the, the sister company uh, which produces energy in, 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 in that region and uh, get, get the best of it. So when you look at it from a higher point of view, not, not only at, at electricity network or even, even worse, of course, there's always between gas and district heating always a, a strong strong competition which in the past did not uh, work out to the benefit in every case for the customer or or the companies or both of them <laughs> so I think that should should uh, be better better in the future thank you very much for this interview Mr. Well, it's Gray. been a, a real, real pleasure and, and I wish all the participants of the course uh, a very interesting and successful experience. Thank you.